solve the following equations here and here involving moduli. So I've written them down here. This one's an equal, so we can simply move this. It's a positive quantity, uh, which doesn't matter anyway, because we're moving it from divide up to times, because it's an equals, isn't it? So A, uh, leave the top part as is, is equal to 5 lots of, move this from divide up to times. There's more than one object, so put a bracket around it when we move it. And that's equal to 2x modulus x plus 9 then. This is equal to 5, expand the bracket, 5 modulus 6, 5 ones of 5. Okay, so move the modulus x over here, the minus 2, and there's 5 already there. So take the 2 and you get 3 modulus x. Well, I'm going to read it from right to left. And on the other side, move the 5 over to be with the 9, and it's 9 minus 5, isn't it? Which is 4. So that tells us now then that the modulus of x is equal to 4 thirds. So the size of the number x is 4 thirds, so that means that x can equal plus or minus 4 over 3. The size of both of these numbers is 4 thirds. So part b, this inequality here, it is a less than or equal to now. So the size of this number is less than or equal to 4. What that means is the number itself, 5x plus 7, can go up to and touch 4, and can go down to and touch minus 4 on the number line. These are the possibilities for this number. So, now we've got simple inequalities here, so let's take away 7 all the way through. That's minus 11. Uh, 5x takes 7, the 7's cancel, that's why we're doing it. 4 takes 7 is minus 3. Now divide by 5, so we took 7 away. Now let's divide by 5 now. We're not flipping the inequality because the 5 is positive. So we get minus 11 over 5 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to minus 3 over 5.